of ironic sense of humor when rock and roll was a little bit more about, you know, uh, love your brother or uh, stop the war. El padre de Kelly Osbourne. There were some extra obstacles to, to getting to him. He had the attention of so many people, the band, and there, there was just a lot of, uh, just a lot more obstacles to him. Sometimes I would be really... Un Zappa y su hermana Diva tenían que asistir a los conciertos para estar junto a su padre. I remember that you and I would go on stage sometimes and mm -hmm. sing or I'd do cartwheels across the stage and dance or whatever. I don't remember necessarily enjoying that. I remember wanting to please my father, but I don't remember necessarily wanting to be on stage with him. I would have much rather had a, a quiet meal. It was a drag that he was gone so much and that we had to share him with a bunch of fans and and not just fans like rabid fans crazy freaky fans i hated the groupies i hated um the, the just the, 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 the they smelled weird they danced weird cuando no estaba en el escenario frank zappa estaba en el estudio de grabación seems like the only way to have uh, quality time with the men in this family you have to get in the studio <laughs> exactly. no matter how talented or not talented you are in my case uh, age 14 I think that was probably my only cry for some quality time I wrote a note uh, asking for some some studio time with them en el caso de Moon era el conocimiento del dialecto inusual de sus amigas del colegio que motivó a Frank Zappa a invitar a su hija al estudio de grabación so one night he woke me up and uh, out of sound slumber and asked me to come into the studio and just improvise in vocal booth and we did seven takes. He'd give me some instruction and give me some places to, to go in the improv and then he edited the piece together and it became Valley Girl. There's like the Galleria. Valley Girl se convirtió en el mayor éxito comercial de Frank en el 82. Las expresiones for sure, tubular y gag me with a spoon se convirtieron usuales entre los adolescentes de Norteamérica. Gag me with a spoon. I was on the bar mitzvah circuit pretty intensely and I've probably gone to, I'm not even joking, a hundred bar mitzvahs and uh, that's just how everybody talked and I thought it was hilarious. Pronounce everything so that it sounds as if you've got marbles in your mouth, okay? Valley Girl has made a big difference because a lot of stations are playing it, but it's hardly indicative of the rest of the stuff that I do. There's no doubt in my mind that Valley Girl wouldn't have been a huge hit single if Moon Unit hadn't been the featured vocalist on that song. So I think it's really special that she was able to share that major success with her father. Pero Moon, de 14 años, no lo hizo por la fama. What started out as just a fun time with my dad turned into a, a nightmare publicity, welcome to the world kind of a time. I had acne out to here and then I had to go do press and do all the crazy shows. Certain, they're just, it's an archetype. Yeah, normally, what I've found normally doesn't go for all of them, but the majority of, of keyboard players and bass players feel really neglected in the band and want more. <laughs> so then they kind of have, they, yeah, they kind of have attitudes and, and just are not, they're just, they suck the life out of you, so you stay away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why the the drummers and the, and the singers and guitar players are rad because mm -hmm. they know they're, they're the shit. Moon atrapó el percusionista Paul Doucette de la banda Matchbox 20. Moon y Paul se casaron en el 2002. Liv Tyler también encontró el amor en los... When I first started dating, I tried to, again, I was picking out strays, and um, I, 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 I... I'm so glad I guess that's I, over. Yeah. I'm so glad that's over. <laughs> um, I think I, I wanted to, uh, in some way, I, I must have been 
re very religious in another lifetime because I think I wanted to make up for the fa fact that we had such a good life. So I dated total losers just to punish myself for having it so good. And then I switched to... Maybe you did it so that you knew how good you had it. Maybe. Maybe. Thanks. Thanks for turning into it. Okay. como un blanco. We were told very early on, if you're going to exercise, vary the hours so that nobody can track During your... routine. <laughs> yeah. Things like this, because I think partly because our father had death threats when we were younger, and there was always a sense of the world is a scary place, and, and this is the safest place you can be, and so why not? Especially since we had a father who, he didn't drive to work, he worked at home, so there was really very little interaction with the world. We've had people hanging out of trees wearing metal hats so you can't read their mind. We've had, you name it, we've seen it, it's been here. It's Pero en el 2000, una amenaza se convirtió en algo siniestro. Timothy Mark Brownfield fue arrestado por supuestamente intentar asesinar a Moon Zappa. Brownfield alegó que Moon y su padre Frank le habían robado la letra de la canción Valley Girl. En el 2001, un juez federal descartó los cargos contra Brownfield, imponiéndole a cambio una orden de restricción. Para Moon, era solo otro incidente en la vida de una hija del rock. I think because there were incidents where fans or strangers had come to the house and they were creepy. And it, my father was king of the weirdos. It was, it was not, his, they weren't his peers. They were his kind of weird followers. And so th th that didn't breed a feeling of safety <laughs> to see the guy with the rubber bands in his beard. But it is true. I also, I make sure that there's dog hair or, or cat hair on my clothing, forensically speaking. Uh, I, do, I do leave little tracers on my being in <laughs> case Sick, I am abducted still. I was excited still. that I knew it was going to be home more. <laughs> Uh, it was, uh, I mean, obviously the worst news you could possibly hear, but I was truly looking forward to um, stopping everything and having the chance to... to there, it's a luxury to know that somebody is sick in a way. I mean, everyone's going to die, but it's, if somebody's on the fast track, then there, you, everything becomes more uh, um, bittersweet and beautiful and awful. When he was diagnosed, it was already over. So he had the benefit of just through sheer willpower on behalf of all of us to live a lot longer than they said that he had the possibility of living. If you want to have a great relationship, now's the time. And so you just make best efforts. It just seems like it's a chance for people to be on their best behavior, really. Tres años más tarde, Fran Zappa perdía su batalla contra el cáncer. Falleció a los 52 años. I was little, I was 10 when he was diagnosed, and then he died when he was 14. So I really didn't understand what was going on. So it's really... Yeah, and it was, it's a drag. I mean, I got married, and he, he didn't get to walk me down the aisle, and that was a nightmare. And it is a very, a very special gift to be able to share someone's death with them. It is nature revealing herself in all the ways that are horrifying, terrifying, and fantastic and beautiful all at the same time.